So if you're one of my friends and you hang out with me for a little bit, you're gonna say that girl is a little bit strange. She is constantly looking up at the sky and always talking about the sky. Yesterday, we took the dog for a walk and uh, we were on the hill and I can tell you exactly how the sky was yesterday. One half in sort of a hazy, stormy mood and the other half in a clear blue with white fluff. I can tell you on any given evening what the sky looks like because I I'm fascinated with the miracle of it, that we get to see it, that it's there, that that on a night in Frankfurt, on a high-rise restaurant, it it's blue like Gotham City and Batman. And on on a morning stretch, it's pink and lavender. And I can tell you before I came to this understanding for much of my adult life, I did not see the sky at all. I was uh, mostly thinking about how much work I had to do and how I was going to get it all done and how my boss had been unfair to me and what I was going to do strategically to get back in a good position. Thinking about a, a thing in a teamwork project that wasn't going well. Thinking I'm, I'm not good enough. Um, my my life took place up here in my in my head, and I remember one morning on a ride to work from here out. We live sort of out on the outskirts of Frankfurt, and my husband would always drive us. I remember one morning in the car, just suddenly, long before I came across this understanding, because we. We always have moments of clarity and waking up, just looking and being like, oh, there's the Frankfurt skyline. Oh, there's the sky. <laughs> there's this, there's this incredible life. And then falling back asleep again. And when I say that, I mean, just getting caught up in my thinking again, going back into my really small space of circling thinking And a while back, I had this experience like walking outside. And it was as if, and I'm gonna use the word God just because I don't have a better one, but take any other one you want, the, the, the divine, the consciousness, the great consciousness, whatever, I'm gonna say God. It was like God was watching through my eyes its own creation and experiencing that aliveness through me. The trees, the sky, the birds. And for me, that's the simplicity of mind, really, is, is the aliveness that, that Leah talked about, what we were pointing to today. We are alive the way Dickens says it. I used to get caught up in thinking about mind in, oh, there's this intelligence and ooh, and, and how intelligent is it? And is it really guiding me? And do I have wisdom? And can I hear it? And <laughs> does it have control or do I have control? <laughs> ooh. And at some point really just getting still and realizing it's so much simpler than that. We're either in the feeling of the sky, in the miracle of the life, 
or we're in our thinking. And both of those things are, are part of it all. It's being totally human.